Today, I'm going to be talking about a new wig that was sent to me by Wig Studio One for review, and it's called Trend Alert. And she, I haven't even opened up the box yet, she has a mono part, she has an extended lace front, she's in the color silver, which is 5660, two of my favorite color combinations. I want to thank Wig Studio One for the opportunity to review this beautiful wig uh, from Gabor for them. And again, if you need any help, any assistance with this wig, just head on over to wigstudioone.com. Uh, the link is below. It'll take you right out to this, right out to this wig. Just click on help and ask any question that you have about this wig or any other wig from wigstudio1.com and they'll be so happy to help you. Wig Studio One also has a Facebook page. Here it is right there. When you get to the Facebook page, if you don't have an account, you can set up an account on Facebook. If you do have an account, just simply log in. It's a place where you can ask so many questions, a community of wig wearers that all help and support each other. Trend alert. 5660 silver in size average. I'm going to give her a good shake. Let's see how that crown looks. But she's kind of got the telltale zigzag part. It's We're going to get in there with that wig. It's very realistic looking. It's nicely waved, but not too, too much. And uh, it just looks like a, a nice head of hair. I think a perfect combination of fibers. She has that mono part is on the left hand side. So that's where you're going to work with the part. Size average everyone. And so far she does not feel tight. So she's average that someone with my head circumference which runs toward large can wear and I believe you can wear it comfortably. So nice length, nice beachy waves. Again, I haven't I haven't um, styled it per se yet, just using my fingers and seeing kind of where she wants to fall. And I'll tell you already, look at that lace front. Look at that lace front. Oh my goodness. Come on, I defy anybody. I mean, that even if they're right up on top of you, it looks like it's growing right out of your scalp. Gabor, well done. Really well done. I didn't even comb it yet. Okay, so let, let's see what happens here. Now, again, I have white hair, and so if I wanted to, I think my bangs, I might be able to get away with it, but I think I probably could pull the bangs out. I'm not going to do that today, but I think if I wanted to, I could, so that when the wind blows, you're not going to feel self-conscious. But even without that, because of that extended lace front, look, oh, just beautifully, beautifully done. I love it. So, you know, just kind of let her fall where she wants to fall. I tend to overly style wigs, but these days um, the trend is to look a little messy. And, uh, oh my goodness, I love this wig. I love, love, love this wig. So I think that this is, it is a bob. It's a full volume bob, but it has those layers. And so it's more subtle. You don't look at it automatically say, oh, another bob. But it does give that naturally waved texture. It gives depth because of the use of the colors. It's going to give you some dimension. It's not just flat white. Just loving it. I mean, see, look here. If you wanted to, you could have that. Pull it in. Pull it in right there. But for me, I think she looks just great, just like that, just kind of messed up. Let's see what we have. Okay, as I just said, lots of wefting for coolness. Also, I love wefting because if you're going to push a barrette in there, it kind of holds the wig even better, better secured wig. Now, the mono 
top is not a full monotop. It has a partial monotop. So what that means is any place that you see that mono fabric, that is where you're going to be able to part your hair. And it'll look like scalp coming right out of that area of the wig. Okay, turning her around, she has a covered nape, not an extended nape, but a covered nape. She's got Velcro adjusters, which I love on both sides. She has uh, the covered, the felt covered ear tabs with the wire stay inside. Let me see if she's got a wire on the nape. She does not have a wire on the nape. Beautiful lace front from temple to temple. Again, around in the back, she has tufts of hair coming out for a very realistic look at the bottom of or the nape of the neck. I'll put a graphic in with some specifications for you. This uh, wig is from the designer series. I think I already mentioned that. She's got true to life fibers. Oh, she also has what they call a comfort cap. And it really is comfortable and it has some stretch to it. But she does have the front is seven and a half inches. So these fringes. The crown here is nine and a half inches. This is according to their specs now. I have not measured it my, myself. Uh, the nape is two and a half inches, which is nice, again, uh, a good generous nape. She's got those hairs that I showed you that are down at the bottom of the nape. And the sides are five and a half inches. She only weighs three and a half ounces, everyone. So if you don't like to have a heavy head of hair, this is going to be, I, she just ticks off all the boxes for me. On a scale of 1 to 10, for me, this wig, as I said, ticks all the boxes. It's not too heavy. Runs average to maybe a tiny bit large. And has a stretchiness about it. Has the true to life fibers. Has the comfort cap. Is a very modern uh, take on a bob. I think you're going to love this wig. I'm not sure how much styling I would do with this wig because she's so heavily layered. She has that just drop dead gorgeous lace front. Kind of like that. You know, just play with it a little bit, see what you think. Post-production I was looking at the side by side pictures here of myself and then the Gabor model and of course the Gabor model's picture looks quite different. I probably should have put this wig on a wig head for a couple of days before I reviewed her but the lace front, that extended lace front is so gorgeous, the fibers are so gorgeous, the feel of the wig, just everything about it. Just feel free to take a hot tool brush and roll those layers underneath if that's what you prefer. As I've already said several times, I love this wig. So thanks so much for visiting with me today. I hope that this wig review is something that has helped you in your decision on what wig to purchase. Again, I want to mention that the link for Wig Studio One is below, where you, it'll take you right out to this wig for purchase. So until next time, I want to thank you so much from Wig Studio One, and we want to wish you a happy, healthy, prosperous, safe, and wonderful 2023. Bye-bye.